Finally, on this Mother's Day in 1956, there was another president running for re-election. Dwight Eisenhower was being challenged by Democrat Adlai Stevenson, and it was also a big year for this broadcast, which was celebrating its second anniversary and welcoming the first of many women to appear here. That's our Face the Nation flashback. Face the Nation. I personally feel... That Eleanor Roosevelt, FDR's widow, squared off against Maine's Republican Senator Margaret Chase Smith over the Middle East, and it was quite a set to. Mrs. Roosevelt? Well, I don't see how anyone can have confidence in either President Eisenhower or uh, Secretary Dulles' policies. Now, as a man and as a general, I respect him. He did a fine work. But the policies that have brought us into a position where we are, uh, as far as the Near East goes, um, standing together with the dictator of Egypt uh, and the communist uh, Soviet, uh, it's an odd situation to find the United States in. Mrs. Roosevelt, and may I yes, interrupt sure. right there? I uh, wonder why you say we're standing with the Kremlin and with Egypt because in the matter. There's no we, one else in our, the UN with us. Our <laughs> policy is against aggression, uh, because we're aggression and other nations are aggression. It doesn't mean well, that we are standing with those nations. We aren't standing with the Kremlin, certainly on the aggression in Hungary. Well, no, but there wouldn't have been an aggression in Hungary if we hadn't encouraged them in the Near East. And so it went. The argument wasn't settled there, nor was the trouble in the Middle East. Our Face the Nation flashback. And the best part was they actually answered the questions. An example not always followed by their male or female successors.